Hey, it's Rod from the Blackout Tips. And it's Chris from MTR Network. And uh, we just got done doing uh, voiceover work with Dexter of Shadow Dog Productions. This is Chris's first time. What'd you think about it, man? Um, so it's actually been pretty good. It's been pretty fun, you know. I remember when Dexter first came to me about doing uh, voiceover work, and he kept saying, oh, man, you know, your voice would be really good. You do the podcast. I'm like, yeah, but that's... That's the same thing, <laughs> you know? Like, right. You guys, do you, really, you listen to podcasts? Like, I have to move my words all the time. Like, I'd be saying the wrong thing. I can't say names. Like, I'm, like, you think I haven't, like, it's bad, okay? Right. So, right. but no, it's been really fun. I haven't, I haven't messed up that much, so. Yeah, yeah. You were good in there, man, uh, especially for a first time, man. Um, what was your uh, favorite thing about it so far? Um, You know, my favorite thing so far has been that I think the characters I actually can relate to, which... In some of the cases, kind of scary. <laughs> yeah, but um, yeah, yeah like a, fun you, you can kind of relate to a hitman serial killer a little bit. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, gonna, have, I'm gonna have a little bit of a problem there. So, um, you and, know, and that is your character. Yeah, one of my tell, characters. Tell us about the character a little yeah, bit. Yeah, so uh, I have several things so we're doing. That's the other thing, too. So when he first asked me to do this, it was like, oh, I'll come down and do a little voiceover work in the background, something like that. No, he's got, I, I got one of the characters, literally the uh, a, a hitman serial killer secret agent kind of guy that. Whose brothers died? And he's there trying to, you know, find out uh, who killed his brother. Um, then I have the neighbor. Uh, this, that's one role. Then another role is a um, a neighbor who's a nerd guy, and we have a, a a woman who is not a nerd, and she wants our advice on her nerd date, and how to go on her first nerd date. You get drunk at a funeral. I get what? I get drunk at a funeral, and I'm a complete <laughs> complete idiot because I'm a professional mourner. <laughs> who is his first day on the job, and I completely mess this up, fall into the grave. I vomit into the grave. It's, it's really, really bad. And then I'm a dad. <laughs> I'm a dad telling a story um, to his little girl about a story about divorce and infidelity. Like, it's it's a lot of range of different things going on here, and it's um it's a lot, but so far I haven't cracked. I think after it's done, then I'll be like, can't believe I did all that. So. Yeah, it's, uh, that's one of the things I like about it, too, is uh, you can be so many different characters mm-hmm. and stuff. And it's not like, you know, um, you know, physical acting where it's like, if I want to go be this other character, I got costume, makeup, clothes, all the stuff. With this, it's just like, all right, different voice or right. different script or whatever. Um, now, what, were you nervous at all? Um, I think I should be, but I'm not. And mm. that, that's what scares me. Because um, there's actually people here that they, they they do this. They they've worked before. They like even you, you and Karen. You guys have done yeah. this before. I'm I'm the rookie, and I'm reading some of these lines, going, uh, "Wait, I'm speaking this many times." <laughs> yeah, when we walked in. We were rookies. <laughs> it's it's so weird watching it now. You know right. what I mean? Where I'm like, "Well, this is Chris' first time. He's good." But I remember when we were doing, it, they were like, "You guys are actually really good." And we're like, "I don't think." Like inside, I'm like, "Hey, that's impossible." Right. <laughs> you know? That's very. You know what? That's very sweet of you right. to say. Making me feel better about this, like I'm, like he sent me the first script, right, mm-hmm. and it was like 37 pages. I was like, well, okay, wait, a minute. <laughs> so I'm, I'm like narrator, right? He's like, oh no, you're Carter, you're, yeah. I'm like, wait, are you sure? Because he's got a lot of lines here, man. Like, do I got, need to memorize these? Right, you, you do got, I need to be in character when I show up? Uh, you got a lot of confidence in me right here, and I, I don't know if that's really well placed, right? But, <laughs> I won't let you down. <laughs> that's that's kind of cool. And yeah. then, like, Dexter is so easy to work with. Oh, yeah, definitely. You know, like, that's one of the things I like about Dexter is, um, like, there's not a lot of pressure to di- to be perfect. Right. So it kind of allows you to kind of play with the lines, say things. Like, you mess up, you just say it again, mm-hmm. you know. Um, uh, a lot of times, I think the stereotype is <laughs> there's just, like, a director hanging over your every word being like, God damn it, my, you're messing up my set. You know, like everyone's Christian Bale on Terminator. <laughs> you're in my light. You know, no, I'm fucking lie. It's either the Christian Bale one or I had the thought of um, Bill O'Reilly. Fucking we'll do it live. Yeah. We'll do it live. I'm just like, oh man, this is going to be. Yeah. Man, the first time somebody, I'm going to lie, the first time somebody messed up and it wasn't me, I was like, oh, so, <laughs> so it's okay. Yeah. Oh, good, yeah. man. So. Like you messed up with the, it was like uh, descendant and yeah. you said it's supposed to be descendant, descendant or something. And I was like, thank God, because I was gonna mess up with that word. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I thought it was just gonna be me. It takes all the pressure off. Oh yeah, man. It definitely. Does. It takes all the pressure off. That's so, why I love it. Yeah, man, it, it's been, it's been fun. I, I've I've enjoyed it. So um, the one thing that is kind of weird, we're jumping between scripts and things. Mm. So it's like I'm going through trying to figure out. Oh, so wait, what voice did I do for the other guy before? And yeah, oh, I'm doing this. Uh, oh, and when well, someone's so, not here, <laughs> yeah, it throws you off a little bit. 
Because, like, you're talking, and then it's, like, supposed to be a line, and that line does mean something. I have a whole scene where I'm supposed to be, like, communicating with this reverend at right. the funeral, and I'm also, like, been drinking, so right. it's, like, I'm, I'm having a conversation with this person who's not there, so I'm saying my line, waiting for them to say something back. I gotta react to what they said, but they didn't say it, so... Yep. It's, no, but it's been fun. I and I was really I was narrating that one, <laughs> and I've never done narration before, so I was really just doing my best, uh, the dude from Lemony Snicket impression <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> like, I was just like, this is what I think uh, narration is supposed to sound like. You I'm know? not gonna lie, I think James, the guy who's the rookie at the... Yeah. The, 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 he's my favorite one, because he feels like me, the yeah. first day at the job, don't know what you're gonna do, <laughs> you're gonna mess up. Like, I'm sitting there, as he's talking about tripping and falling over the stand, I'm like, yo, I could do that right now. Yeah, I, I like, I'm... There's tripods. Right, there's tripods here. I can literally do this. Like, this, this could be me. I'm yeah. trying not to trip and fall over my words. Right. I mean, it, yeah, it's parallel. <laughs> Duality. Yeah. So, so what did you expect? Versus, um, and then how was, you know, how to differ from that? Um, what was your expectation? I mean, so I didn't really expect it to be yelled at because I know Dex. And yeah, I yeah. knew that was going to be a fine. So, I don't know, it's kind of gone. I would say it's it's meeting my expectations. It's going a little smoother than I thought, just because I thought I would. I honestly thought I would trip over my lines more. Like I'm not gonna lie, that's just what it was. Like I don't know. I feel like I've been doing this better than I do the podcast sometimes. Mm. Like <laughs> just like I've read, I've literally gone and read um, like news stories in the podcast, and I'm literally tripping over words. I think maybe because I was worried about that here, and I actually I've been reading these lines over and over and over again. It's gone. It's actually gone smoother than the podcast. I think. I think being a podcaster helps too because. Uh, especially if you're a host like us, yeah. you're often reading mm-hmm. and talking at the same time to do the stories. Yeah. So it kind of translates over, you know. And also when you're a podcast host, you're reading for understanding. Mm-hmm. So it's so like with the script, uh, you can take uh, uh, you can take like inferences from the script and be like, okay, in this case, this guy would be annoyed, you know. And going back to our conversation earlier, um, I feel like watching all those movies. Oh yeah. Helps, you know, because like some some cliches are still <laughs> cliches in audio or video. So it's like, oh, this guy's a hitman. Yeah, he's gonna have a stoic voice, you know. Yeah. We had this one line in there. We were joking about it in there. We didn't do it, but it was right. like the Christian Bale Batman yeah. voice. <laughs> Swear to me, yeah. <laughs> and we just bust out laughing because it's such a ridiculous thing. But it's like in the back of your mind when you do it, and um, yeah, and I think the other thing, like I think being a podcaster and speaking, right. it does help, but. The when I mean, we're doing podcasts, we're usually also just trying to not only just read in front of you're recording, yep. you're you're dealing with chat room conversations. Yep. Like, I mean, there's somebody else in there doing all that. Doing yeah, all that. I'm not that like, is good. So all I gotta do it for my lines. Oh man, right. this is like it's, it's not making me want to go back into a podcast and be like, yo, I need, I need, I need audio. Right I need, I need now, we see how, stuff, man. now we know how easy like right. radio people have it. Right, I was like, wait, so somebody, else, <laughs> somebody else is dealing with this shit. Oh man, yeah. <laughs> Them. Yeah, like, I need, I need, I need that working right now because I, I can't be doing this. It's like it's all I gotta do is work, read the words on the page. Huh. Yeah, it's easy. It's beautiful. <laughs> so you ready to do more? Um, I don't want to commit right now, but it's been fun. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll do no. Like, let me honestly. see how these turn out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> let me let, let's let's see how let's see how people because it's one of those things. Like when it's you, you're like, <laughs> I don't want to be um, Peter and 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 Lois. In that one Family Guy episode, oh, where they did it in a talent show, yeah. when they were high, and they <laughs> thought they did the most beautiful, like, talent show thing, but in reality, it was trash. So, right now, I'm kind of feeling like, oh, man, I'm doing really good. Right. Then we come back and be like, yeah, man, we had to trash all of that yeah. shit. So, I don't know what you were doing. <laughs> yeah. It was really so horrible. if it turns out great, I want to do more. Right. If it's trash, though, I was never here. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I think I better ask about the shirt. Oh. <laughs> All right. So look. tell me about the shirt. All right. So listen. So Rod and I are also big nerds, right? And um, we are big. Uh, I, I love the X Men. He loves the X Men, and uh, we're of the we're, we're of the uh, religion that Magneto, the immortal enemy of the X Men, is not necessarily wrong. He is a he has been wronged by humankind, and uh, he puts mutants first. So um, I'm a big Magneto fan. I've done a whole like podcast on his history and I think he's a very misunderstood person so I got this shirt like last year and um I had no idea when I put it on this like I was very proud of myself like I'm gonna put on this Magneto was right shirt you're gonna ask him what's gonna be great and um then Rod walks in today we had not talked about this <laughs> nope 
And he had the same damn shirt on. Literally, <laughs> this, I couldn't. I can't even imagine, dog. It was, like, and uh, Magneto um, in the comic book. This shirt doesn't really get popular till after Charles Xavier gets killed. So that's even better. Because right. it's like, not only did Charles die because of his appeasement of humanity, but Magneto's still alive. Yeah. And people are walking around like, uh, Magneto had a point. Right. Now, <laughs> now they killed the nicest dude ever that was a mutant. Maybe we should not be so nice to these people that keep trying to kill us. So, so we're, we're just here to spread the good word mm-hmm. of uh, We're Magneto. acolytes. Yeah, we're acolytes. <laughs> <the same. laughs> You know, with all else going wrong in the world, give Magneto a chance. Spread the gospel of Magneto, yes, everybody, okay? <laughs> if you're watching this and you're going to be doing voiceover, man, uh, especially if you're doing it with Shadow Dog, then don't be nervous. Um, it's a great skill. You can put it on your resume. One of my favorite people in the world, Reagan Gomez, she's a voice actress as well as an, a stage actress, but she talks about how great voice acting is and how it opens up opportunities for people. And Dexter often, often, often says that um, when he puts out auditions, uh, people of color don't always audition for the parts because they just feel like they won't get it. Try. You, you got to try, man. You got to see yourself in the roles because I think that uh, there's a lot more out here for people. Yeah, and like when he first asked me, I was like, man, I don't know, man. I don't know what I'm going to do. And I now look at it like I should have. I should have just never have doubted myself. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, you know, well, even no, you get to you once, try, right? right? You don't know if you can tell you try, and if it's only once, you know, even if yeah. it's just once, I mean, it's a fun experience. It's, it's worth. It's worth just hanging out. Yeah, even just hanging if, out. Yeah. Even, yeah, even cupcakes. if you do it once, we got cupcakes in here, got drinks. Like, I, got this, I, got I mean, we doing good up in here, y'all. Yeah, I got this V8 energy <laughs> drink. I don't even know what it is, and it's, it's delicious. Meet though, some so. nice people. Yeah, it's, it's fun. <laughs> it's, it's fun stuff. <laughs>